Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at Caria Manor. Let's explore the manor upper level. And just a random aside, by the way, I didn't realize until just today that Elden Ring did away with rings. And I guess I didn't really miss them because the talismans are basically a replacement for the rings. They seem to have pretty much the same sort of function. It's a special item you put on that gives you special effects. Why is it always dog? Why is it always pack? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, puppy. Oh my god, you have a lot of health. Much more health than a normal wolf. Normal wolf would die in one or two hits. Oh, another aside. Some people in the comments were telling me how they had gotten attached to the ashes that you can summon. And that made me look at them and read the descriptions and find out that they actually have little stories attached to them. Like, for example, the jellyfish one is adorable. So, spirit jellyfish ashes. A floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. It seems her name is Aurelia. That's adorable. <laughs> Prone to tears? Searching for her home? And then the wolves. Spirits of wolves chased from their pack. They later encountered a nameless tarnish to welcome them as hunting companions. The wolf spirits overwhelm enemies with their agility, aiding the summoner in combat. And, well, I guess I won't look at all of these right now, but I don't know. Let's pick another one. How about the Avianet Soldier Ashes? Oh, yeah, by the way, my wife told me that the name Avianet is a combination of Avian and Marionette, which totally makes sense. Uh, spirits of Marionette Soldiers with Avian features that were created to serve a sorcerer. Equipped with long, hafted sides, they also attack from the skies by lobbing fire pots. Can sometimes malfunction when damaged. Can you even get back up? Oh no, puppy! Puppy stuck! I can't even hit them! Oh, puppy! Precious item ahead. No, there isn't. Well, maybe on the other side. I see a pot, too. And I see a baby pot.
Oh. It's a giant that's been outfitted with some carrion armor and weaponry. Is it a boss? Oh. <laughs> I fell into the one millimeter gap in between the buildings. of snake and short try stealth. Well, that didn't work too well. No! <laughs> Perfect! Perfect stealth. <laughs> okay, you can't get me up here, right? Oh. Killed my- oh. Let's try this again. Can I avoid getting spotted? Oh, it seems so. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They... Are they just patrolling? No, they spotted me. I don't know if they, like... Spotted me, spotted me, or just are coming to investigate? They're just coming to investigate. Okay. Just keep sleeping, giant. I mean, I do want to take out the giant at some point.
Let there be secret passage. Well, unfortunately, there isn't one. Gorgeous view ahead. <laughs> yeah. I hear that shining. It's gotta be up there or behind it. Would it be worthwhile to just wild strike it? Let's see if I can do this without waking it up. No. Okay. Oh, did you hit something? They bonkered their head. Ooh. Well, I can't really get to the head, but I can do this. Troll Knight's sword. Ooh. It probably requires a lot of strength to wield. Um, hmm. A, a significant amount, but actually not as much as I thought. For a colossal sword, it only takes 20. Colossal. Not even a great sword, but a colossal one. Yeah, strength, dex, and int. Hmm. Great sword embedded with a blue glint stone. Weapon of the trolls in service to the royal family of Caria. Called into service when the queen invoked an oath they swore. The trolls are treated as true knights of Caria and fight arm in arm with their human comrades. Trolls roar is the skill. Look into the distance and let out an intense roar generating a powerful shockwave that blows back surrounding foes. Follow up with a strong attack to slam the armament down. Pretty. Very slow. <laughs> oh my god. Is it just, hold on, is it just when I'm using it? No, it's my weight. I'm overloaded, I'm not just like heavy load, I'm overloaded. Which is why I walk really slowly and I can't even sprint. And the special? How bad are you to fight melee? I've only ranged them before. Not bad. Oh, there's a stake there. I'm guessing we're heading into a boss fight then. A lot of blood stains. 
people that failed jump, I guess. Yep. Oof. Oh, someone landed on top of that doorway. Well done. Thank you. So many tiny pots. Oh, I can't I can't target them, so I think they're friendly. Oh, oh no. I just wanted to talk. Can you tell me how to become smooth? No, little guys. Don't do it. Is that all that's here? Wait, no, I must be missing something. Surely I'm missing something. Ah, there's more down. come all this way for? Ooh! Ash of War, Carrion Grander. Carrion? Carrion? I think I switch which way I say it each time. But that's the one I really liked on this, this weapon. Carrion Grander. Grandeur. That's when you can charge up three times and you get a really, really big, basically an extra big version of Carrion Greatsword, the spell. Nice, I can put that on anything now. Well, probably only straight swords, I would imagine. Let's get my endurance a little bit higher. More equip load and more stamina. It's only one more stamina point, but stamina is important. Both for melee and for magic, honestly. Uh, I'm going to go in here. Because I don't think the giant can follow me. Man, this really looks like a boss arena. Mage ahead. Be wary of magic. And yeah, it looks like they can't get in here. I guess this is where they watch their blood sports or something. <laughs> Tempted to go around the whole thing. Royal Knight Loretta. Defeats every mage spell. Sprinting perpendicular to the angle that they shoot it from.
Oh, that was a cool one. Oh, the perpendicular thing didn't work. Cool. I should have been using the Flask of Wondrous Physic the whole time. Oh, they'd be dead, because it would have boosted my magic damage. Not too bad, though. Almost defeated them first try. Pretty confident I'll do it on the second try. I'm gonna get rid of Fire Pot. Hey, you can't leave the circle. Gotcha. That's a cool boss. Loretta's Great Bow. Ooh. Ash of War, Loretta's Slash. Ah, oh, the one I thought was really cool. Nice. I never look at how many souls I get. Not enough to level up. Oh, but let's take a look at the spell. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Takes 26 int. Fires great arrow from a... What? <laughs> Fires great arrow from a magic great bow. 28 FP, so quite expensive. Now, which of these do I actually use? Like, magic glint blade has come in handy few times magic downpour it just ugh, the fact that it only seems to hit one enemy and doesn't actually seem to do damage over a wide area like it says not against multiple enemies anyway makes me want to toss it also what could I put that Ash of War on? 
Looks like Loretta's slash Ash of War can only be applied to pull arms and twin blades, none of which are actually wieldable by me unless I two hand them, then I have just enough strength to wield at least a couple of them, like this one, Banished Knight's Magic Halberd, plus eight. Let's try that out and the spell. <laughs> That's really cool. Doesn't use that much FP either. Like, not a, not a low amount, but not a high amount either. Did it say... I think the Ash of War said, like, follow up with a, another attack or something, didn't it? No, never mind. Can I chain it if I do another... Uh, no, not really. Like, you can chain it, but not any sort of special chain. Oh, I'm slow rolling. But yeah, that is a really cool attack. Um, let's try out the spell. Perfect. <laughs> oh, you can charge it. Look at how big it is. So if I just tap it, then it just shoots that. So it uses the same amount of FP regardless of whether you charge it or not. So it really is in your best interest to charge it if you can. It gets a lot more efficient. I want to shoot somebody. Six hundred damage, nice. Let's just tap it. It still does pretty good damage, just tapped, honestly. Four hundred versus six hundred. Page garb. Well, that could be pretty. Yeah, it really makes you vulnerable for a long time, charging it up. Even not charging it up does as well. So between 400 and 600 damage. How much damage do I do with just a plain glintstone shard? Yeah, I can get up to the same amount of damage that the bow does with just two glintstone shards. Without charging it up, and I'm more mobile while I do it, because I can continue to move while I cast. Slowly, but I can move. And it probably takes less FP, or maybe about the same. But I am guessing the bow... Mm, well, I'm not sure if the range is longer. Range might be longer. It also probably does a lot more poise damage, I would bet. I kind of want to try the polearm in its special attack on an actual enemy. Okay, it'd be much better if they're on my level because of the way this thing works. 450. And what does this thing do with the normal attack? So it's equivalent to about two normal attacks. So again, I have to ask, is it worth it? It's equivalent to about two normal attacks and it's two special attacks. So how good really is that? Maybe it does more poise damage? It certainly gives you some forward movement. Especially in the second hit. So it covers some distance and yeah, maybe it does more poise damage. I'm just not super impressed with it, though. Visually, it's beautiful, but... I don't know. There's two ways to go. There's doorway over that way, and then there's up here. I think up here might be a dead end. So let's check it out first.
doorway then. Be wary of dragon. Three sisters. Try horse. Oh. Right, we're outside of the building now. Now we're in the backyard. Try right. Oh, that's these making the noise. Rena's rise. Blocked shut for now. Okay, what's on the map? way will lead behind the whole place, I guess. Am I hearing a giant? Oh. Oh no, that's the dragon they warned me about. So misty. an armament. Is that a s spell? Does that buff your sword with freeze? Cold? Enchant's right hand armament with frost. Yeah, my weapon already has frost, so I don't think it would even let me use that on my on my flail anyway. Unless I can make it frostier. Wait. Your right hand weapon. But But you have to have a staff in your right hand to cast it, don't you? How does that work? Well, it doesn't even let me cast it, so... Maybe it would cast it on... But you could have two other weapons, so... I... Okay, let's put one that it could be cast on. Uh, this one, probably? No, I still can't cast it. Maybe something bland, something plain? That's already frost. This? How? I don't need to cast it, but I just want to know how. <laughs> we have an Evergel. 
royal grave, Evergal. Confidence. Likely sorcerer. Seek confusion. Why is it always a weak foe? <laughs> My arm's getting tired! Where are you? That's a cool spell. Yeah. Meteorite. I guess I would say it's a spell that takes arcane. Something incredible. It is incredible. It's amazing to look down, down there and go, oh, it looks like an area I can go to. And then looking at the map and realizing, oh, I've been there. The map is so big, it's so vast. I love it. They really created something special with Elden Ring. <gasps> Fire Doggo! I think I might need Magic Glint Blade. Or maybe I need to not be on a horse. 
No item ahead. Peoria of Wolf, but no item ahead. Ah, I still want to take him on anyway. Oh, I got him. Yeah. Yeah, they're right. No item ahead. Oh, this looks so cool on horseback. And I can move even when I'm on horseback. Let's see about the range. So with a shard, I don't think this will reach. No. Okay, it does have longer range. How much longer range? Like, really, really long? Well, that aiming could be a little bit better. <laughs> okay, I can't even target it. There we go. Yeah, so you can hit an enemy even if it's at the absolute limits of your targeting potential. Oh, thank God. So it does have a use. <laughs> I was worried it had no use despite how cool it, it was, but no, it totally does. Now... The dog didn't drop an item, but what's this? Golden rune level three? That's really poor. Dung. It is kind of shit. Oh, I had 16,000 souls there that I didn't pick up. It's a good thing I didn't lose that fight. Albinoric Ashes. Let's read the description for that. A strapping duo of cartwheeling spirits who wield ripple swords and spew freezing breath. Both are second generation Albinorics with the dumpy heads that resemble those of frogs. Aww. A strapping duo of cartwheeling spirits. That's such a cute way to refer to them. And then it calls them dumpy. Oh, hey. Uh, juvenile scholar cap. That was unexpected. Is that what the uh, children of Renalus were wearing? Why is it always bloodstained recklessness ahead? <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to look at the page garb as well. It's not bad. It's not for me, though. 
garb worn by pages who serve the nobility and are mindful to keep them out of harm's way. Traveling, traveling wear tailored with exquisite precision to avoid any undue shame for the page's master. Yeah, so this was the queen's robe, so this is Renala's robe. And this is the juvenile scholar robe. I think it might have been what the kids were wearing. It still just... Uh, let me get off Torrent. I definitely like it more than Renala's robe, for sure. It doesn't look quite as much like a big bag. But I don't love it. I like it more from the back than the front. What was the other piece? A headpiece? Juvenile scholar cap. <laughs> I'm ready to go to school! This does show off my hair, which I like. How are the stats on these things? It's significantly lighter, much worse physical, a little bit better magic. Yeah, it's kind of just worse. For the most part. No, this is... This is prettier and better, stat-wise. But what about the headpiece? Like, I don't think the stats really matter on that. Significantly better, because... This is just a headband, so it gives you almost no protection. Okay, this is a weird look, though. <laughs> this is a really weird look. It matches with the robe really well, but it does not match with the rest of this very well. I like the band a lot more. Oh, I wanted to try this out. Oh, look at all his feathers go fluff. Feathers go fluff. Not my style, though. Back to the headband. I got rid of all the spells I don't commonly use. And I realized I totally forgot to look at Meteorite. And I can use it. I thought it would take Arcane. It doesn't. It takes 30 int. Calls small meteorites down from the sky. Takes 30 FP. The Reddit's Great Bow takes 28, so about the same FP. Let's actually go try it on some enemy down here. Maybe one of the Albinorix? Wait. I can't... Oh, I can't be on horseback, can I? No. <laughs> what does this look like? Oh wait, that wasn't 30 FP. They used like all my FP. Did, did I hold it down? I'm not sure. Let me just tap it. Okay, yeah, if you just tap it, it just does the three. But if you hold it... Then it just keeps shooting them. If I'm targeting an enemy, will it go towards them? Oh. Zombies! No, it doesn't seem to target enemies. I swear to God. I 
I don't quite get the aiming. Yeah, I don't get the aiming. It does hit them when they're close up. So is it targeting them or what? Or maybe it just has a really big hitbox and it originates from where I... I don't know. I'm confused about that one, but for sure it does a lot of damage, without a doubt. Let's go explore around more where the dragon is. Hello. I just saw an invisible enemy. Hello. Ah. Oh, you bastards. This might be a good time to use Meteorite. Maybe. If I can cast it. Okay, I killed one. Okay, no, that's not working great. Ah, whatever, I'm out of here. Okay, dragon's up that way. The thing that's closed is up here. Let's see if there's anything behind it. Oh my god. I'm like 40 hours into the game and I just realized that if you press the, the sneak button, the crouch button, it takes you off of torrent immediately. I've always used the key that you use to summon it to get off. But that's faster and you do a cool little hop. really want to Argo the dragon. Cellar ahead. Try rolling. Ah. They don't look dead. I feel like they're all gonna wake up. ahead. Ooh. Celevis's puppet. Do not touch. Oh. Okay, they're wearing one of the little jars on their head. Do you know how stinky and nasty it must be in there? You know that thing's full of flesh full of overly ripe meatballs or whatever. Gross. Are you Saluvis? Do I need to hit them to wake them up? Or maybe I should kill the dragon or something? I don't want to hit them if I don't have to. Maybe the dragon has something to do with it. Although I don't see how. 